Hey beautiful Gemini's, welcome back. I have a special message for you today. Gemini's horoscope for today. According to Mira, today's Gemini horoscope. Today you will feel fresh and happy, so remember to start everything again. If you think that nothing was going right for you, then don't give up and try it again. There you go. Better days are ahead, Gemini. Don't give up. Gemini energy. Hmm, let's get some abundance messages on this for Gemini. Hi guys. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Brighter days are ahead, Gemini. Some kind of obstacles. Cooperate instead of competing. What yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete. You might be faced with some kind of obstacles or people causing drama. I don't know, Gemini. Let's see. Detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people of whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and your relationships. Choose to be with good people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. It might be causing you to let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold. The time, the supplies, the money, or other resources that you donate will ensure positive energy multiplies. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God in your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack, no limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. So you might be getting, um, it's to do detoxing from your friendships, Gemini. Let's get some money on this for Gemini. Fleeting change. There is a change for the better coming your way. Just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean that nothing's happening. Resisting change is blocking the good things the universe wants to give to you. So you may need to detox from your friendships. There is some kind of windfall that's coming in. Now, I don't know. Maybe you feel like, you know, I've been helping you. I've been... Oh boy. Maybe you're pissed off because you feel like you've helped somebody and they turned around and got a windfall and maybe they donated it to a charity. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you, your money flow is being affected by the people, your friendships that you keep or by the person that's on your mind. Keeps giving money away. I don't know. Gemini. Karmic relationship. A lot of conflicts and it seems to do with about money. Detoxing. You might be of karmic friendships. S 
for our brothers, we the hathers. Maybe somebody trusted a brother. I don't know. Okay, it's looking like these are your fellow star brothers and they might be getting windfalls of money or something and it's like it's to do with brothers friendships brothers friendships brothers or friendships of brothers and it's almost like you have to release some type of there's enough to go around maybe I don't know what this is saying yet Gemini because it's going to be different for all people maybe you think that somebody's been gaslighting Gemini well, there's poetic justice being served here. There's a retribution here. It could have to do with the divine masculine who is becoming homeless. Or... Maybe you helped a brother out when they were homeless. Or um, poetic justice is being served. Maybe you feel like you... Maybe a divine masculine feels like they were gaslit and is being held hostage in a home. Poetic justice is being served. Maybe somebody was a mama's boy. Maybe somebody's opinion, you know, maybe, oh Jesus, some, okay, this is going to be weird energy. Maybe somebody was a mama's boy. Okay, maybe somebody's used to having being catered to or something. Maybe you think it's unfair because one of your brothers was the favorite or the mama's boy. Or maybe the person you're dealing with is jealous of you because you have a child and you're always with that child. I don't know. Somebody was a tyrant, cruel and oppressive. Poetic justice is being served. It's like somebody might be going homeless or being homeless. I don't know. This is somebody who is with an emotional drama queen. I don't know, Gemini, trespassing for any means. Someone's like an alley cat. Someone is burnt out, grinding gears. Someone may have been strategizing, triggered, set something off, very naive romantically, taking action, but avoiding is, is disassociating. So now that there's this crisis, somebody is like, Oh my God. So we're talking about a karmic energy who is just, I need attention now. I, they're a tyrant. I need attention now. Like right now. 
Difficult to please, a diva, a drama queen. Thinking that this was their divine feminine, but it got involved with the Ponzi scheme. Got too big, it's gonna fail. Somebody Holy crap. Got involved with a Ponzi scheme. This came up in the Sagittarian read, guys. So it might be the, the same masculine. Ponzi scheme. According to Wikipedia, a Ponzi scheme is a form of fraud that lures investors and pays profits to earlier investors with funds from more recent investors. Like a multi-level marketing thing, but it's a business that doesn't exist. It's like copying, unoriginal. Somebody is trying to build some kind of Ponzi scheme, copying someone else, but they're going to be ended up burdened because it's going to come tumbling down. Somebody could be getting homeless and then wanting to run back. Oh, jeez. They got involved in some scheme. I don't know if it's a multi-level marketing scheme or some kind of... I don't know. Maybe somebody was a tyrant. Do you know what I mean? Controlling. Trying to control somebody's mind here. What the frick? Follows the crowd, being guided like sheep, refusing any kind of treatment or something. Someone's admiring someone from afar. Their glory days are over. That's what Spirit's saying. They got in too deep and their glory days are over. This is poetic justice for somebody. Burdens, mounting pressure, someone feels controlled. Well, something is peaked and their glory days are over. Someone's going, going to be homeless here. Maybe they thought they were better than you. Maybe they were bigoty. Maybe they got too high on their hog. You know what I mean? Maybe they... It's beyond the ordinary. Somebody heard something or is going to hear something. New doors are opening up. It's been a beautiful engaging. Somebody just needs to take a deep breath. Birds of a feather flock together. Mm -hmm. That's what karma is all about. So whoever uh, screwed over looking like a divine femme it's poetic justice because birds of a feather flock together if they were a tyrant if they were sh if they were sheep and followed the crowd if they just went invested in hang on hey guys welcome back yeah, birds of a feather flock together. So the whoever was the scammers here 
cold, heartless. They're going homeless. They're going to be homeless. It is poetic justice. They screwed uh, a defined femme over, thinking that they were getting involved with somebody who was a divine femme. They're not. Somebody did some crooked investing. Heavy burdens. Drama. Dealing with a drama queen. That's what they're doing. They married a drama queen who is manipulative. Manipulating them in some kind of financial um, pyramid scheme or some kind of Ponzi scheme for money. Thinking they were going to get sudden wealth. Could have married them thinking, oh, I'm going to be living high on the hog here. Everybody's going to notice me. Well, maybe they are going to end up being the fool. Homeless. Birds of a feather flock together, so player met a player. Oh, let's invest in this. Win at all costs. Okay. Got greedy here. Now they're being hurt in some kind of scam with another lover. Gave up their star, their soulmate, and chose another partner to go to and had some kind of family situation and now there's nothing but stress and worry about legalities. They're in over their head. Now they're pissed off. Gaslighted and betrayed. Invested some kind of money. Gave some money to somebody. Ignoring the details. It's their karma. Can't lie, cheat, and steal an earth angel. You can't do it without getting karma. Hit in the downfall. Bad fortune. Very selfish, self-indulgent. Lock their true love for sudden wealth, but they're going to end up, they don't see something. Yep. Deception. Comes around and goes around. It's to do with their investments. Friends. Somebody loves the Empress, but maybe they were a tyrant. Now they regret mistreating their past person. Why? Because they got some news, financial bad news. They're being hurt by this baby mama. They feel controlled. They feel they're with a drama. They feel held hostage. What? Accused of holding someone hostage? Accuse somebody of holding someone hostage? Or raping somebody? Controlled? 
Yep. Very controlling. Oh, whoa. Tried to keep someone stuck in some kind of legal situation. Oh, Jesus. They're in a bind. They're stuck legally somehow. These are gifts that are coming to the real Divine Femme. There's legalities here. Stuck in some kind of legalities. They're going to end up divorced. <laughs> without a pot to piss in. Oh my Lord have mercy. Birds of a feather flock together. So they were sheep. They followed like a little sheep. Well, everyone else is doing it. Everybody else is making money off it. Everybody else is doing it. Hmm. Birds of a feather flock together, so the glory days are over. It's all fine and dandy when the money's rolling in, but uh, what happens when all the money's rolling out? Well, it's rolling out of this person's life. They sold their Divine Femme down the road. When it all costs. It's like they wanted to compete for this masculine energy, but they wanted them, they got them, now they got all the burdens. Somebody is going to be homeless, like losing their shirt. Lucky if they can pay their rent. I don't know if they got involved with... This is a tyrant. Cruel. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Maybe they are a hunter. Maybe they got caught poaching animals. I don't know. They were thinking they made, met their match in heaven or something. It's a scam. They met a scammer. I don't know if these are the brothers or a brotherhood. Someone actually could have got caught poaching. Either fish or animals or wildlife or reported for poaching. I don't know. saying it's not working out for them they could lose their home be homeless it's their friendships or you, or your friendships Gemini take it as it resonates
something seems to have taken off really fast, you know, but it's some kind of scheme. Ooh, we're going to be rich. We're going to be rich. We're going to be rich. Oh, no. Nope. It's a financial crash. Hmm. Somebody could be feeling guilty now. Somebody needed to, says, abundance flow is being affected by the people of who you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and your relationships. Let go of guilt. Look after yourself, Gemini. That's what it's saying. Look after you. You might have a couple of kids or something. Don't feel guilty. I don't know. Somebody getting in trouble with the law or poaching. Don't get involved. Somebody could be a tyrant. I don't know. Make God your source. You know? Take care.